should say something really controversial here. No, should make not headlines. Con I'm not controversial. You should I'm talk a, about I'm someone. I'm a nobody. I think he's going to leave that to you. Basically, it's set up as a creative space. Right. This is where the people who create things hang out, with the exception of me. We got Ms. Pac-Man, and whatever that is. A couple arcade classics. This was fan art sent to us of uh, some kind of famous uh, Funny or Die videos. The autograph wall. Jane Seymour. <laughs> yeah, who knew? <laughs> Jane Seymour loves comedy. That down there was the TV department, web and social media people, producers, and then you get into writer, directors. Downstairs there's an actual studio, there's an actual studio. big green screen. and that, that almost sounds too grown up. It is. Do you know what I mean? Up. Well, well it, the, the very first <laughs> green screen that we had was in a shed. What's nice is that even though we're obviously such a, a digital studio, yeah. it's actually a throwback to the old Hollywood system where everyone was under the same roof. And I think having everyone so close is just why we're able to make so much stuff. Wait, I have to go see the horse. All right. <laughs> Most offices have a horse. Uh, no, mine does not. <laughs> really? That is a gift from uh, Melissa McCarthy. Wax on. It's on. Wax off. Really? It's like in every training montage that's ever happened. I want to talk about the, the business versus creativity thing. You have said this company is all about the creative. It's all about the talent, and the business is here to support that. What does that mean? That means exactly what it says, that we live by the mantra that creative drives the deal, not the deal drives the creative. We make what we hope is funny, great product period, whether that product is a web product, a mobile product, a TV product, and we will sink or swim on how good that is. As we've grown and as the whole media landscape has grown, we do get tons of opportunities to potentially test Glove's theorem. <laughs> because we are like a nice small company, and if we want to become a much bigger company, I think there is going to be some of those moments where we do have to kind of do that gut check and remember what kind of got us there. because. There is a lot of money on the table. There's tons of opportunity. There's a different over-the-top platform basically announced every week at this point. Everyone's looking for original premium content, of which for the last eight years we've done you know, relatively well. It's just a matter of time till we sell out. <laughs> well, and, and, and you know what? We're going to get there. Um, so he's the business guy. You are the president of production. Yes. Which an ambassador of style, which lifestyle, guess, lifestyle. lifestyle. <laughs> Come on, Kyle. What, all right. what, what do you do? What is president? <laughs> that's a good. Do that's here? a good question. What do you think I do, Dick? I don't know. I'm always been struck by as the company's grown how little I know I, what anybody does. Right. Isn't that what happens? I'm Catherine Heigl. I'm here on the set of Funny or Die. You guys move really fast. I mean, I've, I've, I've read stories about uh, stuff going from an idea to on the web in like three days, or if not, less. If not or less, less. less. Right. I hate balls. I really do. So how do, how do you do that? Um, I love working with comedians. I love creative ideas, and I love getting things done really quickly. So much of Hollywood is just a waste of time and inefficient, and I think what we give to the creative community and the talent community is, it is an ability to get a ton of stuff that they're excited about done done quickly, well, and seen by a lot of people. Well, Planeteers, what seems to be the problem? Now it's been great because we've just done, grown organically to have that include brand entertainment, commercials, uh, TV, live events. What does it mean? It means war, Cynthia. War. W-O-R-E. A-R. W-A-R. It means war. So what are you guys now? Are you an advertising company? Are you a web company? Are you a tech company? Are you a public relations firm that, I mean, what are you, what are you? Yes. Internally, we think we're all of the above. And whether it's like the highest people, you know, doing it, Will Ferrell and Adam McKay, right. or that next generation, you know, it's servicing talent. As much as fads and platforms and different things change, you can always bet on talent. So we want to keep our focus on that and then take those talented people into places that they can get their voice heard. You don't have to raise your voice. You pay you! I can give you half. What's the biggest failure you guys have had so far? Everything that we're doing here, even if something doesn't work, you're going to learn something from it that's going to make that next thing that much better and easier to get done. So, I mean, and I've messed up a lot. Like, I cost us $600,000 on a movie no, that didn't really? happen. really? Yeah, but what can you do? You just move on, you, you smooth it over with Glover, and, and he, now we're turning still, it into a TV show. You let him keep show. working here? <laughs> wow. I encourage it. Wow. 
we're not afraid to fail. You know, we do tons of videos that people don't like. In fact, one of our selling points right. to, to the A-list talent is you might be unbelievably successful, do one movie that totally bombs and suddenly start reading the stories about, you know, have you lost your Careers mojo over. with us? If you do it, it's some crazy idea and it doesn't work, who cares? It's a, you know, cruddy little funny or die video. But if it works, it gets as much attention as any hit you've done. And so it's a great environment to take chances which is almost the total antithesis of what you face in your day-to-day -day life. What the f*** keep going? I can't even get a line out until Don't Be The Dick starts whispering in your ear. We did this video with Dennis Quaid earlier this year yeah. that went very well. This is the most unprofessional set I've ever been on. This is harsh uh. I had nothing to do with it. Our, some young producers, Dan Bernstein and others, kind of put that together. But WME, his agency, yeah. called me and said in all their years of representing, you know, any actor, they had never seen one piece of content change a conversation about an actor's career so quickly as that Dennis Quaid piece. I had. believe that. This is a really crazy set. <laughs> yeah, you ever shot a funny or die video before? No. I imagine that um, people come knocking on your door all the time wanting to buy you with a whole lot of money. Oh gosh, I wish that were true. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't <laughs> wish that was true. The you... answer is, is, is yes and no. People did come knocking on our door, went through that process, ended up deciding, nope, we're not going to do anything. Because we do kind of straddle these two different worlds, that the Silicon Valley world, which is one of the reasons we're a huge leader in social media and all this yeah. stuff coming out of there, is always focused on this kind of exit strategy. The creative community, the Hollywood world, is much more focused on the environment to be able to do what we do. And so we're constantly balancing this sort of yeah. yin and yang of, hey, maintaining this sort of culture, but also trying to add value as a company. As we've said, so much is changing. Like, why, let's just be selfish. Let's just focus on ourselves and do the best that we can do within this environment. And all those things will work out when they, they need to. But right now, we just have too much momentum going. I, I wouldn't want to slow it down for anything. What we do is create great content and then we want the most number of people to experience it, enjoy it, et cetera. So you gotta know a lot more than just how to create great content. Dick Glover, Mike Farah, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's awesome. I love it.